One of my friends said I should do a video about the mind of a psychopath. I thought that was a good idea because, interestingly enough, a few years ago I read a bunch of material on psychopaths. So I understand the concept as well as a layperson probably can. So the operative question is, is Fred Phelps a psychopath? A lot of people will answer this in a knee-jerk fashion and say, yes, Fred Phelps is a psychopath. But the founder of the term psychopath might not think so. His criteria would be different. He would be more technical. So let us find out what he had to say. His name is Hervey Cleckley, and he wrote the book Mask of Sanity, and I'm going to be taking his descriptions of a psychopath. The first one is superficial charm and good intelligence. Fred Phelps has good intelligence. Even the book Addicted to Hate said he has intelligence. But so what? A lot of people have intelligence. Superficial charm. Psychopaths are very smooth, but Fred Phelps is definitely not smooth. He has a shoot-yourself-in-the-foot type of modus operandi. Absence of delusions and other signs of irrational thinking. Well, Fred Phelps doesn't have that. A psychopath actually is very clear, knows reality. Absence of nervousness or psychoneurotic manifestations. I don't know if Phelps has so much anxiety and such neurotic things, but he does definitely big on the guilt. Unreliability. Psychopaths come and go. Fred Phelps is very constant, very consistent. He may, he may not be reliable for a good thing, but he is definitely reliable. Untruthfulness and insincerity. Yes, Fred Phelps has that, but that alone doesn't make you a psychopath. Lack of remorse and shame. Fred Phelps also probably could be considered to have that. He induces shame, invokes shame all the time. He doesn't seem to have remorse for picketing people's funerals and causing misery. Inadequately motivated antisocial behavior. Yes, Fred Phelps is antisocial. He could probably be considered antisocial behavior disorder. Poor judgment and failure to learn by experience. Yes and no. He learns in a bad way. He learns how to become more evil. Definitely poor judgment. Pathologic egocentricity and incapacity for love. True. Fred Phelps is egocentric. Now he can love. He does love his family to a certain extent. General poverty in major effective reactions. See part two for the further part of this.